Is that your song, bro? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, yeah. It's not even Wednesday. Hey, somebody gonna drop ball. Oh, yeah. Turn up, turn up. <laughs> hey, oh, hey. Got hey, that cocoa turn up. when I got it for the low. Hey, Ooh, turn up, hey. Turn up, hey. Hear my whip and show how it go. Hey, Ooh, turn up, hey. Ain't hey. no place in there. Hey. Boop is birds hey. and the bees. Bees, hey. Rainy ain't got no waves and they looking. Ooh, hey, turn up, hey, 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 Crazy. Hey man, I freestyle. You'll never. I'm gonna be honest. Saying. My way is not. You'll never. You'll never freestyle. Right? Always hard. Tonight, no. Hey, you'll never freestyle. Yeah, man, I'm not a freestyle type. I'm liquid sober bar. 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 Liquid we got this week and next week, damn it. Y'all ain't gonna see us for a minute, man. Yeah. We be on break. Yeah. But I think Avery, Avery was talking about coming back and everything just to do it. So that's what Avery wanted to do? do? Yeah, Avery. <laughs> the one man. The one man. One man show. Avery's yeah. 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 taking over. That's hey. fine as long as we brought in the bishop too. Neck. <laughs> He's gonna be running the sound, boy. You never see He's the, gonna be working the, the juicy group. whip. Not the bishop, boy. As long as we hop in the bishop, we'll come do it. <laughs> Next, but see, shout out to anybody from Cincinnati. Everybody's talking about taking a drive out there this weekend. Hey, so, and the Bishop too. Neck again. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to car. If you go to Cincinnati, hey, y'all better expect to see Avery out there this weekend. <laughs> it's going. Wow, man. Y'all be <laughs> silly, <laughs> silly. <laughs> Uh, what's up though? What's up with y'all, man? We definitely missed y'all. We got some nice topics for y'all. We got some real topics for y'all. Cause y'all love the BS, man. Y'all love the fluke stuff. Yeah, so we, we got we've been talking about a lot of a lot of nonsense lately, man. But we, yeah. we came to talk I don't about call some it real nonsense. Stuff, I call it life. No. Not everything we talk about is life. Let's be real here, you know what I mean? It's what what about what's in life? Look, man, I'm not about Name one. This, man. He's annoying. Name Listen. one. What what was it like? Name one. Oh, you just don't know. Now, we all continue on with this topics. show, man. We've had so many topics, but we all know what's real. I mean, what's a real topic in compared to a fluke joint? But today we have a lot of real, two real topics for you guys. I'm saying that we can expand on today. One being, um, what defines what's really what's right and what's not. We all know, man. Don't sit here and play around, man. Try to put me on the spot, man. Y'all annoying right now. Hey, man, it's too late, man. They we know that you have no answers, so you might as well just go ahead and just talk yeah, about yeah, the new yeah. topics. The new topics we got today, we got uh, parents blaming their kids' behavior on the culture. We're talking about video games, music. I'm saying, how do y'all feel about that? Um, as far as shit blaming goes, you know what I'm saying? We want to call in and hear some feedback. We want y'all to call in and give us some feedback. Y'all should know the number by now. If not, 419-448-2200. Make sure y'all call in on that. But, um... That I um and this next topic is gonna be um cutting off extra baggage in your life, these bad influence you have back home. Maybe you wanna on uh the straight and narrow and getting your life together and somebody is, is back home holding you back. Um do you cut off that relationship or if and if so when? I'm yeah. saying that's that could be, be a topic. plus that could be a whole a whole multitude of things, man. It ain't got it could be people, it could be situations, it could be just, you know, female, whatever. So yeah. We're going to hit it, though. Y'all know how we do. It's definitely going to be some real topics today. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to play around with y'all. Say we're going on a trip. It's my favorite rocket ship. Hey, going the skies. So who, who has the bangers? Is it Avery or is it Kendall? Who it, got the bangers lined up? It's DJ Kelly Kills who, who took the time out his day to download all the bangers for y'all today. So y'all know y'all got some new bangers coming to y'all and DJ Kelly Kills put them together. Well, why can't they just be like a collective thing? Why can't, why is it always got to be somebody by themselves? Because you played 2K while I got these bangers. <laughs> you were my player and DJ Kelly Kills was in the studio working. I'm talking about, I'm talking about why is Juice and Randy trying to pin us? Against each other. Maybe it's because we have all the answers and they have none. They have no answers. That's, that's why. That's why. They're playing with no answers. That's why. I'm not talking to decided wrong. We're talking to dead side of the wrong. Cut a off for them, man. Son hey, of we'll be right back, yo. Version that is so weak. I'm tired of you doing this. Do it. Something better. Juicy, you want to show me how to do it? 
No, because he has no answers. Ain't that what you do? You might be the best one. Hey, you want some answers? Hey, let's go, bro. Wow, I just can't. I couldn't hit the advance button. I tried so hard. Cut the mask off, man. But it's because we'll be right back, man. I feel good. Oh. Oh yeah, man. That's some little background on it, though. You know what I'm saying? Cause we went to a um, shut up, man. We went to an event, <laughs> and Avery had to speak. On, um, <laughs> Avery had to speak on um, video games to shut this up, group man. that we were a part of, and um, shut up, man. everybody was all on his back. All the women. It was a lot of elderly in the, in the crowd, and he had to explain the game GTA to everybody. They didn't know what they were talking about. Yeah, and um, they they got really uh, offensive. Go ahead and explain, bro. Yeah, explain, Avery. This is your story. No, it's not my story. You were telling this. Go ahead and tell it. It was a good story. Go ahead and tell it, Randy. Wow. Yeah, man. It was... It was you almost done. But it was... Um, everybody got really offended. He had to talk about the different actions that the, the user can do in a video game. And they said that some kids might want to... Um, might think that it's cool in real life to go out and do these things um, that they see in a video game. And that's where we got this topic from. Insight, give me your insight on it right now, Juice. Bottom line is, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna say that this stems from the video game because this goes from a, a long line. Like people blame their kids for being bad for anything. They could say rap music make my kids do bad stuff or <laughs> video game. Like I mean, it stems for so much. And then when you gotta look at it, like these rappers are not responsible for raising your kids, so you can't hold them accountable for what they say or do. I am not a role model. Exactly, you can't ho hold them responsible. For what they say or do, Charlie and then how your kid gonna act? You feel me? So I mean, it's like <laughs> it's your job to raise your kids, not not nobody else. And then on top of that, with the game, so far as the games go, I mean, your parents are the one that buy the game for you, and like the games got ratings and stuff on it for a reason. So I mean, you if you buying stuff that your kids ain't mature enough to play, then that's a red flag. There's, right there. there's ways to get around it, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, man. it is. But I mean, at the same time, it's like. These is your kids, so you should know what they're doing, you feel me? All right, I kind of agree with that, but then again, I don't. I'm going to tell you why I don't agree with it. See, because, uh, like, as when you, as a, as your, you know what I'm saying, as your kid gets older, or you being a kid, as you get older, you, you, you learn right from wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, you see something on Grand Theft Auto, you see them picking up hookers and, and taking them home or whatever into the alley and doing what they want to do. That you know, like, okay, like, this is illegal. Like, you should know that, like, this is illegal and I shouldn't be doing stuff like this. The choice that you have is yours. I wouldn't blame the parent for uh, for something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to say, like, oh, man, my mom never told me not to, not to, uh, well, she told me not to pick up the hooker one time, but, uh, you know what I'm saying, she only told me once, so I'm not, I'm going to disagard what she <laughs> said. No, 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 she I, just I, told I, me once. no, I can agree with that, what you're saying, though, because, like, I mean, as everybody gets older, you know, they learn, they, yeah, they're going to learn right from wrong. Yeah. But I mean, like, as like, I'm talking about like from a young perspective, like somebody that's that's young, you know, it's it's the parents' job to guide them and show them right from wrong. So if they're not doing that, but blaming stuff on other, like, you know, it's it's certain stuff that like certain kid, like at certain kids at certain age shouldn't be allowed to do. And as they get older, you know, it progresses and they allowed to do more stuff because they learn it more. You feel me? And I see what he's talking about, like uh, with the video games, but it's bigger than video games. Like we talking yeah, about, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I ain't just talking about games. Range of like I'm saying topics. It's, it can be video games, music. It's infused in the culture. Like so, if you have bad things going on as a society, as a culture, like that kid is picking up on that. Kids are very impressionable. So I feel like uh, a lot of the time, kids are a product of their environment. If they see that thing, if they see things going on bad, um, nine times out of ten, they're gonna pick up on. It. Okay, you know, yeah, I definitely agree with you that. You know what see, I'm saying? As far as the music aspect, but see, video games is a joke to me. You know, it's a video game. I've been playing them since I was been yay high. My mom done gave me every PlayStation since I was a little boy, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? It's it's not video games. I done played them all, you know what I'm saying? I had Grand Theft Auto when I was 16 or whatever, even though she didn't want to buy it or so. Like, I played those games. I did all that, that stuff, and I'm, okay, I'm all right, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to music, music is, is influential, like, very influential to anybody. Like, you hear some words off the music, you you dance to it, you know, you still know the word. You got Chief Keef using words like thoughts and stuff, it carries on. You know what I'm saying, that's real influential. You know what I'm saying, now everybody's calling someone else a thought. They even, even on the, the show Empire, they using that word. You know what I'm saying, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, it, yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's in the dictionary, you know what I'm saying, a word that... 
that Chief Keef made up a rapper, you know what I'm saying? It's, that's how influential it is. Words like that get put into the dictionary, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying, put into our, our culture through television and other things. Not, I'm sure a lot of people who watch Empire, I'm sure everybody watch, who's listening probably watches Empire, and not everybody knew that Thought came from Chief Keef. Y'all probably don't even know who that is. But, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> it's a... It's a, music is influential, so if somebody, if a rapper says to do some certain stuff like wear tight jeans or wear baggy clothes, it carries on just because they look. People want to, you know what I'm saying, want to be like their role model, a famous person. So right. I, I see what you mean, but what, what, why is there a difference between video games and, and music? They have an, um, uh, people don't say, you're not taking all their, all their music literally. You know what I'm saying? They have lawsuits over that, like. People try to sue Eminem because their kids did this, and um, and they try to blame Eminem for it because he was like putting out certain things like that, you know. Fifty Cent, people were like in the early two thousands, uh, were putting out music that people's parents didn't approve of, and their kids was going out living it. What's to say that um, they should know wrong, right from wrong through the music? Okay, so, well that's different. Like, so if uh, if music was to tell you, you know, what I'm saying, like to shoot and kill somebody. You just like I said before, if your parents haven't told you once or twice that shooting and killing someone is wrong, it's morally wrong, then you know what I'm saying maybe it is not, your only, not, not only morally, it's against the law. You know, maybe it's your <laughs> maybe it is your parents' fault if they morally. haven't told you that that's you know illegal. But as far as like what you were saying, I just didn't get it. We got no, no. This is what I'm saying. Like, what makes video games different from music? Well, video games are virtual. And played, and, and music is spoken through real people. Video games are made by real people. Are you, I mean, it, I'm, it, it could be, it's an alternate world, you know what I'm saying, in the video game. 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 That's the word, game. Game. But those are just words, though. Anybody can say anything, they can make up a story. That could be, that's a story. Nobody said it was real. Yeah, we know 50 Cent's life because that's what he, he put out, he made it real. But people lie all the time. It's just words. Right. So I'm saying, like, what could be the difference? What what draws that line? Well, I think what draws the line is it being a video game. Look, man, I'm talking in circles. Yeah, look, look, look. it sounds like it's a video game, so that would would draw the line from someone someone's fun. real words, as opposed to a virtual video game that you play with a controller. See, it'd be different if you had to step into the game and actually do something like you're you doing know what I'm saying? shoot you're, that person with your own with your own gun. You're doing these things in a video game. You're Purchasing weapons. Look, look, you're, look, you're look. shooting people. Oh my God! For music, you're only listening it's, to somebody's story. It's a virtual reality. A video game is virtual reality. Compared to a video music. game, would you let me finish? Go ahead. A video game is everything that we want to do but we can't do because it might be against the law. Right. So you, you physically can't go out there and go dunk on LeBron James or two games, but you can do it to my player. You. When I finally start talking, it's fine. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Oh, gosh, I couldn't take it anymore. Nobody is more wronger than both of you. Wow. Was it both of them? And the song and music or whatever, however you want to categorize it, are all in the same category. They're both not real. <laughs> I can listen to music all day and I can play video games all day and I can still wake up and drive down the street and not shoot people and sell drugs oh, and, and all of that because at the end of the day, all it is is oh, entertainment. Wow. Both of them are only entertainment. It's a video game. Some people speak real in their music. What about those people like 50 Cent who speaks about being shot nine times and resurrecting from from the depths of nothing and becoming someone? Okay, okay but there. just like people speak real into their music, nothing can be created without some form of reality, especially in the type of games that you speak of, like Grand Theft Auto. You know, like... Yeah, people speak real in music, just like Grand Theft Auto shows, you know, real life situations, you know, there really are drug dealers out there, there really are people killing people and stealing cars and, and having hookers and all of that, like, it's, it's, it's how you want to go with it, but in reality, it's, it's all for entertainment, so it's within yourself on whether or not, you know, you're going to take that as your excuse, you know, because that's all it would be, it, because I played this game, it, it got in my head and, and, and made me go, okay, well, then you're a weak-minded individual. If you let a video game get into your head, you would let anything get into your head. You would let a person get into your head 
So the game is no different than the music. It's all about whether or not you are mentally strong or mentally weak. That's right. And we were talking about that. I mean, I, I agree with the weak-minded part, but that's for people that thought, that's for people that are adults. We were talking about kids. Kids are very impressionable, and they they soak it in like sponges. So anything they see in front of you, most likely you're going to take in. And you can be a weak-minded child, just like you can be a weak-minded adult. I grew up listening to rap and playing Grand Theft Auto, and, and I don't like sell thing. drugs. I don't shoot people. I don't do any of that. You know, at the end of the day, you know, it, it is what it is. Like, you you can be as impressionable as you want to be, but you are the one who decides what you take from that. Like, just like, you know, a lot of other people, I came up in the inner city Cleveland. You know, I grew up in, in the hood or whatever you want to call it. I grew up around guns and drugs and all of that, but that doesn't make me want to go be a drug dealer. You know, it doesn't make me want to go shoot people. At the end of the day, it's all about how you take it. I took it and flipped it like, okay, that's where I came from, and I ain't never trying to go back to that. So I'm going to move forward. You know, I'm going to go against that. Yeah, that, that's going back to what I was saying about, you, you know, you have a choice to do what you want to do, but then it... I agree that you, you, you definitely have a choice. Yeah, but but you said that all games are real, like, it, as as well as, well, they based off of real things, but that, that's not true. You know, there's games like Little Big Planet where you jump around and play around on, on fairy tales. And fables. And, yeah, that are... Kill dragons. And that are, nice. You know what I'm saying? Stuff that's just not real. So to... Those type of games... You know, are not the games that fall under fire by by you know parents and by all these groups. Well, then like, don't say that they, Then don't say it. Then you don't say it, Alvin. You don't say that all games are real. Then. Deal, don't say it. If you are, if you play Super Smash Bros, then don't talk about Super Smash Bros. is a real game. It's Super Smash Bros. It's not Grand Theft Auto. It's not Saints Row. It's Super Smash Bros. It's it's a fairy tale game. It's just not the same. Throw your hands off me. You are speaking of. I never said anything about Little Big Planet or all SpongeBob or 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 <laughs> yeah, Rocket Man or any of those things. I said the game that you might be on the side. Then Andreas, I even gave an example. You said what you said was that all games are based off of real stuff. When have, if you play Little Big Planet, you would know that that's the furthest thing from reality. <laughs> <laughs> I said the games that you are speaking of because you yourself said. Grand Theft Auto. Yes. I said those type of games, which are the type of games that fall under fire by the parents and the groups and all that, are games that are based off of reality, just like a lot of the music. So they can go hand in hand, and you can't differentiate between the two. They're both just entertainment. Yeah, what about The Sims? Let's speak on that game. The Sims, the the game where you walk around and you, you just... What? Some of The Sims is real life stuff. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the Sims is real life stuff, and it doesn't fall. It doesn't. It's just not the 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 foul game that you guys are speaking of here. All games aren't like that. Our games aren't foul, and I just don't want to hear it. But at the end of the day, all games are exactly what you just said. They're all games which also exactly. fall under the same thing music falls under, which is entertainment. It's up to you to take entertainment and flip it into something more. So man, I agree. You just reiterated what I said. I agree. All right then. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for calling out. All right, good luck, bro. What I was trying to say before Andre came in here, it went all crazy. This is exactly what he, I mean, exactly what he just reiterated about. It's a choice, and people need to be responsible for the choices. They can't go blame it on the video game because it's just what Andre Cadell said. It's just a game. It's virtual reality. It's stuff we can't do in real life, but we can do in the game. It's just a game. Same thing as Monopoly. You gotta know right from wrong. We can't go that. out here and, and run an actual Monopoly. We yeah, can't of course, do that. it's that their parents' job to teach them right from wrong before they get out here in the outside world and get influenced by other people and other, like you know I'm saying, situations, exactly. ideas, video games, music. Yeah, well, right, as a, I just got a tweet, you know, from Janessa. Thanks for uh, listening while you're at the basketball game. Uh, Heidelberg's playing my unit today, women's basketball. Oh, yeah, yeah, turn, turn up. up. Turn o- up. OAC game, so we got to win this. But uh, she said that, you know, in her psych class, they said it's not statistically proven that video games and child behavior directly are related. It's not. It's, it's, still, it's still a choice. It, and it just goes to reiterate what I said. It's all a choice. You know what I'm saying? You choose what you want to do based off of that video game. And if, if you... what what uh. Randy was saying was that you, you know what I'm saying, when you're young, you don't have a choice. If you don't have a choice as to what you want to do based off of a game, then you're too young to be playing those games. If you feel like, well, this game said to do this, I must do this, then it's, you know what I'm saying, you're too young to be playing those video games, and you just shouldn't be doing it. 
I'm just not ready for him yet. Yeah. Even with what I'm saying, but it goes like like we said, further than video games, it also goes to music and just any other aspect of life. Like with uh, music, you can say like um, remember when everybody can recall this seventh grade, grade when Nicki Minaj that first came out and um, she was spitting all that. Uh, she was uh, freaky stuff. She was a lesbian and all that stuff in, in the music songs. And I remember in my grade school, it was just uh, like it was a fad of females just just deciding like just overnight. You know what I'm saying changing the orientation still, just because it's, it's still going on today. <laughs> yeah, it's still going on. Yeah, it's still going on today. But you know what I'm saying just how just how quickly people can be influenced by words. You know what I'm saying um, they just. Don't have their own mind. I, I don't know, man. Maybe. Just going by what Kendall just said is that music is a big influence. With those, with those being yes. weak-minded but people with no choice. Once again, it's still a choice. It's still a choice. They can be weak-minded all they want to be. It's still I, a I choice. I wouldn't call There's people no who, who who follow my music, you know, like that. It's a trend. Yeah, weak-minded. It's, it's, I wouldn't it's call it weak-minded. It's a, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a trend. it's following the trend. It's staying current. Being popular. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? To to do like to get online, as I said, was to call females thoughts and, and disclaim them as unloyal. As my mom wanted to hear that song today, I told her I couldn't do it for it. Just I just can't do it. See, even she likes songs like that. Just catchy songs like that. You know what I'm saying? Just That's to, the thing though. It might be catchy, but like a lot of the parents are you know what I'm saying, you might listen to it in the car. And all these other songs. Coco's a real popular song out there, but you might not know that he's talking about cocaine. You know what I'm saying? You're not listening to the lyrics. These songs that y'all bumping in the cars, it might be um, bleaked out, but they have content in it that might not be good for your children to hear. But then again, it is also on damn content as such, as such. There was a song by my sir makes a lot talking about butt. We're not, we're not, we're not gonna talk about that. Soft that. throwback. And everybody know that song. Everybody in their mama so, know that song. Yeah. Once again, hip hop is my bad. We haven't talked about it, so let me say it today. Hip hop is its own culture. You can't sit up here Very and talk about, Can't sit up here and talk about well. You know, this is it. You know, it's this influence. It, it's that influence. It's not an influence. It's just what we grew up on. This is just what we know. They talk the same way we talk today. There's no difference. And as hip hop evolves, we will evolve. It's our culture. It's what we grew up on. And that includes trends know. and how how people dress and I mean all that goes yeah, on. You know what I mean? You got to think about how like you know time has just evolved and like the styles have changed. You feel me? Like they done came, they done went, they done came back around. Like you know, people start rocking. People brought certain certain pairs, of certain types of shoes back. Right. I mean, like it, it all, you know, it all, you know, goes in with that culture. You feel me? So it's 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 all tied in together. And yes, it's still entertainment. And yes, yeah. there are some rappers who don't talk about anything. Yes, there are some that mumble with songs and still get away with it. And yes, there are some that actually talk about something. But the ones that do talk about something, they are talking about something indeed. It's something, just that, like squeak. How, it's something that Squeak can get away with. Just like how Kendall was talking. I mean, not Kendall, mm -hmm. but just how Kendrick was talking about how he killed somebody, but he wasn't gonna say it on the track. Did anybody hear that? No, you didn't. You still rap the <laughs> lyrics. And go ahead and answer it for you. No, you didn't. But you still gonna listen to it. You still gonna rap it. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Mad City. Mad City. Bobby Smurder. All these catchy songs, man. They got something to them, man. You gotta pay attention. Rain, talk to the mic. We can't hear you. You gotta pay attention, man. All these catchy songs got lyrics behind them that you guys just aren't listening to. Maybe you are listening to them. You just let me, let me... Or you're listening. How about you're listening too close? I will hope. How about you're listening too close? Because people seem to think that 50 Cent's reality is your reality. And it's just not true. That man got shot nine times. You get shot once and you die. That's just, it's just <laughs> that, that don't happen. That's 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 it just man. don't happen you like throwing that. Yeah. 50, you just got wearing a bulletproof vest now. As soon as you throw the headphones on, you're wearing a bullet, bulletproof vest because you're listening to 50. You feel invincible. But it's just in the form, just like Kendall said. It, it really is. I'm trying to take my life away. <laughs> and, to, and for me to piggyback on that. Man, man. Somebody play that, man. <laughs> just like, um, to agree with what Kendall said, what you guys are saying. 50 Cent, rap, that was one of the best rappers who rapped about his own reality and not something that he wasn't doing. And it seems as if the ones that are rapping about something they never did before are just the most popular. That is crazy. And that, that that stems on a whole other topic, man. Rappers who don't know what they're talking about. Or ain't living what they're talking about. And that's a whole other story. I don't know. That, I think that's, that can really stretch far. Yeah, yeah. Can. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and play some music. Call in and let us know what you got got to say about the topic or or anything. Call in and let us know what's up. About to get into some good music. One of my favorite albums. 
my favorite album of all time, actually. But, uh, you know, I'll listen to this banger real quick. Be we'll back. This, this stuff has to stop. All four of y'all are very intelligent black men. And y'all need to let these folks know how messed up this is. And how unacceptable this is. Especially in this society on this day. This is ridiculous. It is ridiculous, man. We definitely gonna do it. You know us all in this room. We definitely gonna have let our voices be heard. Very provocative, Shut very good up. subject for us. Shut up. Don't take care. All right, Bob. Thanks for calling in. in. I really can't believe she sat up here and That's said Jigaboo on the crazy. air to Wayne Dawson. And <laughs> somebody just said that we be we, uh, we be mad tweeting. Like during the show, yes we do. We need everybody to know how we feel at that moment that when, we, when we feel that way. Yeah, man, we do. But uh, you know, we gonna uh, y'all call in and let us know what y'all think about this. How y'all think it's gonna play out? If she will apologize, which I don't think she will. My mom says she thinks that she will apologize. She's gonna have to, man. She want to keep her job. I'm she just gonna have it without a, a formal apology on air, on air. If she doesn't, I'll say this: if she doesn't give a formal apology on air by tomorrow, she'll be fired. No, 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 this is not something that you can just get around, I mean, it's not like somebody just can't hop on the phone and have Al Sharpton here in about two minutes, like, it really, she needs to be fired, Al there's Al no getting around that, she really needs to be fired, this might be Al Sharpton here, this might be Al Sharpton here, <laughs> birds and the bees, what's going on, Reverend Sharpton, <laughs> hi there, birds and the bees, yes, 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 yes. how you doing, ah, uh, I don't know how I'm doing with that topic here. I'm not, you know, I was okay with the topic, and then, you know, you to the, to quit the air. <laughs> Bad I, comment. I heard that was your girl. I think she needs to, probably, she needs to be fired. She needs to be held accountable for something like that. Especially when you, he read exactly the meaning of, of, of what was said. Bad, really bad. You know, and it's something that I, I think I had mentioned something recently um, to Aiden, just to say, uh, you guys um, are broadcasting live. You have to say what you mean and mean what you say. Watch what you are saying and I explain that. Now, Wayne Dawson, we're putting him up there now and I'm on the pedestal for him to react to what she said. Let that news station react to what she said. If it was flipped around and that thing happened and Wayne Dawson had said something, you know, totally out of pocket like that, they would be trying to fire him. That, that is totally unacceptable. It's totally unacceptable. Oh boy. Yeah. I agree. Oh See, there you go. You Definitely. know what I'm saying? If, if, the, if the role was switched, Wayne Dawson would not yeah. be in that chair. He would have been, been, been out of him on the spot, no matter how many years he'd he been. He would have walked off and he would have been gone. <laughs> he'd have been there since we was kids. Yeah, that man would have received his last paycheck yeah. in the mail tomorrow. And I'm floored because I, I like Channel 8, Christy K. Fox. Love that anchor team, but she's a journalist. Yeah, she's like she it. knows being a journalist. Um, the words that she can say and cannot say. She might know a little bit more than a whole lot of them because that is her profession, you know. And that's what she, that's what she was at, professionally on her job, not just hanging all out somewhere where she just talking in any old kind of way. So, shame on her, you know. I, I'm glad just you all had just found this and you brought it out here now to us and to the public school. We know that's what's happening. But shame on her. They ought to be rid of her. I, I don't even want to hear an apology or something kind of that. Oh, Jigaboo? Oh, man, that Jigaboo is beautiful. Yeah, that's really bad. So thank you all for sharing. Ooh. Love you guys for doing a good job. All right, my thank you for calling Ooh, ooh, I swear. Y'all heard what she said. What she said. Ooh, you know that's like that was real. Ooh, I swear. I need a little bite to live with it. Oh man, we uh, you know, see that's that's just some crazy stuff, man. Y'all call and let us know what y'all think about it. We about to get a couple songs going, and we gonna get into this next topic for y'all. But I'm really hold on before we go on break. I think I know. I think I need to say one thing. If she stays on the air tomorrow. And if she's on there, she she still has a job. 
this will say a whole lot to the whole country rather than just the city of Cleveland. Because True. of the fact that she even not not that. even that though. Just about as Fox as a network and how and how they treat Fox as a network. Right. You feel yes. very true. I'm, I'm gonna still, send some tweets to Fox right now and let them know how. Might I feel. Well, I've already Fox. tweeted Wayne Dawson. Everybody might as well tweet Fox. I tweeted Wayne Dawson and I, I replied to everybody in the link and I said, "What's up, bro? What's going on?" <laughs> <laughs> a real bad choice of words. And of I'm, waiting, I'm waiting on my reply, man. He Hold on, see. You know what? I'm mean, just gonna go on break, man. Y'all, uh... But definitely hit the phone lines real quick. 419 448 2200. We'll get our callers. Uh, we'll be back on here in about 5 10 minutes. We're out of here. Like, what is that? <laughs> Y'all know what it is. Hey, listen though, listen though. It's probably be the realest thing you've ever heard. It. It's probably be the realest thing you've ever heard. So you got a buddy of yours, and you're iron. That buddy that you have has to be iron too. That's why you make each other sharp. Now, if your iron and your buddy is paper, you're going to shred. You don't need to be in your life. You know what I'm saying? So make each other sharper by being both me and iron and on the same path, making each other better. You know what I'm saying? for greatness with each other mean, rather than somebody just holding, so rather, holding you back. So your quote was iron sharp and iron. Iron sharp and iron, man. You got you got, you got a buddy that's paper, you're going to shred it. Ain't no need to be, ain't no need for them to be in your life. The man about the ass, man. Word about the ass. Oh, that. boy. Wow. Uh, Alright, go ahead. Just let us let us know what you feel about it. Alright, man. I mean, this, this is a real life situation situation for me, man. Cause I, I I got a couple, you know, I got a lot of homies who who deal with that supposed to do, you know, got in school, and then I mean, I got some who didn't, you know. I mean, it's and it it's hard to sit back and watch that because I know it's like at the same time, you know, I'm still close with everybody, you know, I, I came up with. You right. feel me? Like it, it's always gonna be like that. I ain't gonna never, you know, just. You know, I mean, cause they, you know, they're my, you, they're my homies. You feel me? But I mean, at the same time, it's like you gotta want something more for yourself. You feel me? You can't, you can't be satisfied and content with, with chilling and, and you know, playing 2K and and, and blowing all day like that. Not that that it can't be the life for you now. Like we we too old for that, homie. Yeah, man. You know, you we we 20, 21, 22. Like you you, you gotta want to do something. I'm talking about I ain't working, ain't doing nothing. Like yeah. It's, you can't be you can't be at a standstill at this point in your life. Like you got to be on the on the come up. The so it's like, you know, I try like you know. So far as me, like I try to keep them, you know, motivated. I try and stay, like I always stay in contact with them. I, I do. I mean, I do what I need to do, man. But I can't. Yeah, I can't. That's something I hate to see for real, man. And it's like I feel obligated to to do what I got to do to grind as hard as I can so I can be a light to them. I you feel see, me. Man. So I mean, it's like, I mean, it's, that's real though. Honestly, man, you got to Sometimes you got to play the lecture role. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my pops called on the show. He liked the lecture a lot. I, I I get it from him. You know what I'm saying? So you might catch me with my homeboy in a situation like that talking and talking for years about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to get my homeboy in the right path. Or whoever could be in that situation, a relative or whoever, they need to talk to him. And you got to do it. You right. know what I'm saying? But the thing is, they got to want it. They got to want it better themselves. The people in those situations. Um, most of the time, or yeah, nine times out of ten, they, they, they're they doing it themselves. They know what they're doing. They can easily go get a job and get up and go get a job at McDonald's, do whatever they want to do. But no, they want to sit back and kick it all day and chill. You know what I'm saying? That life ain't good for nobody. You can just sit on your mother's couch all day rather than getting a job, man. It's up to you. Make up your mind, man. What can Dell say? Shoot or dribble. <laughs> so what y'all think, dog? All right, as far as as this, you know, yeah. we're cutting off the baggage where they were saying, like, your friends are or, or not a... Uh, See, for me, like, you know what I'm saying, all my friends, I, I didn't grew up with them, you know what I'm saying, since I was young, you know, like, uh, real young, I'm talking about, like, on some, like, five years old, you know, that type of young, three, you know what I'm saying, since I know I didn't live around the same place forever, so, you know what I'm saying, as far as cutting them off, I couldn't see myself cutting off my friends, yeah. regardless yeah, as to, that's, 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 that's your homeboy, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, regardless as to how bad they're doing, and, uh, you know, like, uh, monetarily or, or you know what I'm saying you know physically or what or when I know you know what I'm saying I'm I'm going to try to help them get to a better place I'm not going you know what I'm saying cut you off just cuz cuz you know what I'm saying you're not at where I'm at right now you know what I'm saying cuz I might be more successful than you are right now cuz if everybody if you was to turn your back on everybody then you know what I'm saying what, 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 type, what type of friend would you be yeah you know what I'm saying if you turn your back on, on people That's when they true. when they in trouble you know what I'm saying what about when you in trouble and then you and somebody turn their back on you you know what I'm saying? It's just not, it ain't the right thing to do. As that's what I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like it's baggage. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people need a hand, you know what I'm saying? I got you. So that's what I'm, I'm more of a, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to try and help you out. I, I'm going to do what I can as a friend to get you back to where you need to be or where you're supposed to be. And if, you, if you're if you not, 
you're unable to be helped. You know what I'm saying? Where if you just where you just bringing someone People down, don't want help. you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you gotta want. It. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want help, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna just not be your friend. No. I'm just you know I'm still be cool with you. I'm just know what you want out of life. You know what I'm saying? Like you still be my boy at the end of the day. That's that's the way I feel about it. You know what I'm All saying? Right. All right. and, and, like, and like I was saying, bro, y'all know Kendall. Kendall is the supreme motivator. He gonna make you mad enough to run the board. Be like, man, he ain't talking to me, man. I go get two or three jobs right now. Yeah, <laughs> like that. That's that's the, he is the supreme motivator. So that's why I said either you love, either you cool with him or you not. It ain't, it ain't no in, in between yeah, with this man. Really not, man. Yeah, it's true. Go ahead, Avery. Let us know what you feel. Oh my God, man. I can't. For me, man. You know, you know, we can still be cool, but we can't be as close as we once were, like, you know, because I can't sit up here and, you know, you trying to, you know, we, you know, I'm trying to motivate you and I'm like, okay, well, let's go get this work in on the field. And we will get this work in and you trying to go smoke a blunt afterwards. That makes no sense. Or the fact that you sit at home one day and you don't have no job, all you do is play 2K and you're not even good. Like, you need to sit up here <laughs> and, good. and put your energy towards something. And, it, and it's just really, <laughs> it, it just needs to be something. So, I mean, I might have to, you know, I can't leave you but I'm not going to keep dragging you along and picking up your slack. Does that make sense to everybody? I got you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, yeah. So uh, so then going back to the question, Avery, at what point do you cut that person off if you're not going to carry around their slack, as you say? The point where their mom kicks them out and they're looking to me to try to let them live somewhere. And mm -hmm. they and I do. I do. You know, you know, let them come live with me. And then the point where they're not paying any of my bills, they're not doing anything, they're not putting food in the fridge, they're eating up all my snacks, I can't have it. All the bill snacks. <laughs> wow, wow. Birds and the bees, what's going on? What's that? I personally feel like image is like everything. You know, like, okay. for a while, they might, they might lag behind, but if they see you out here really getting it in and you trying to help them and you trying to show them the way, like, hey, this is, this is possible. Just look at me, like... You know, I'm, I'm doing this. If at that point, you know, they still don't follow the example, then that's where you get to the point of not necessarily cutting them off, but like falling back because it's like, I'm doing it. I'm showing you it's possible. I'm showing you the way to do it. And you still not trying to do it. Like, you know, like the, the old saying goes is you can't save somebody who don't want to try to save themselves. So I might not cut you off necessarily. But I'm gonna be like, you know, hey, I gotta, I gotta chill on, on kicking it with them, or, right. or you know, hanging with them. Like, if I see you out, you know, we still good. You know, if you need something, I still got you. But as, as far as like you being my ace, like you might have been, nah, because I, I, I can't respect the fact that I showed you the way and you just wouldn't walk down the path with me. Like, I can't, I can't do it. I do yeah. feel what you're saying, though. I, I mean, like, feel that 100%. Yeah, just like I said, you know, I'm not about to keep dragging them along. It's just not going to happen. Just can't let that happen. The cutting off thing, it's like I'm just not going to keep, you know, weighing myself down. Like, you can still hit me up. We can still kick it on some non-serious stuff. But when it comes to what I'm really doing and I'm trying to show you and you're not trying to buy into it, I'm going to just run a solo the next time. Especially the ones that you try trying to go out, you, you know, so say if, I'm breaking you know, on, you know, I see you've been working out and doing all that, man, but so Seth Hill's, you know, one of the ones where it's trying to sway you from, you know, trying to get back in shape to where you was at before. The ones that say, oh, man, rather let's just sit up here and do that. I actually just recently went through this situation in a different aspect, like with a relationship. You know, when you're giving your all and when you're trying to do things right and when you try to do things positive and you don't have that support and you don't have that, that that you know that person that's that's trying to be on the same page with you it'll really open your eyes like as soon as i heard this topic like i just start thinking because it's like man you just gotta get away sometimes you know it don't matter how much you might care about that friend or, or whatever that person is to you at the end of the day you can't let you know people stop what you try to do with your life or you're gonna be stuck right there with them at the end of the day you gotta look out for yourself too you know, the first law of human nature is self-preservation, so you got to look out for self. Go oh, ahead, yeah, dear Darwin. Go <laughs> ahead, <laughs> <Yeah>, Darwin. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, right, right. in. Hey, but that's a good, but that's a good point though. When he he hit a he hit a flip side to it, like he, that ties into relationships. That ties into you know just old habits that you could that you could have used to do, but like now that you done grown up, and you you seen some stuff, and they like you you want something else. 
You know, it's just certain stuff that you you can't go back home and do. You feel me? Like it's it's like you got to tell your you got to tell some of your homies like, hey yo, I ain't on that no more, man. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to take I'm trying to take my life in a different direction. So it's like it's it's just certain stuff that I mean that you may have to stop because of where you trying to go in life. Okay, now here's another. That, thing. I mean that can go either, that can go either way. That can go a whole bunch of different ways. Here's a sub off of this. Now we got um people that we we talked about people going pro and forgetting where they came from and all stuff type of stuff like that. Now, the thing about that is when you get success, you got people um, at some point, you know what I'm saying, family or friends, trying to leech off you. You know what I'm saying? When, when that money comes in, everybody want a piece of you. Everybody was your homeboy from way back when. You know what I'm saying? You could have met dude yeah. yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So, like, every, every, everybody switches up. And how to decipher from who, the real and the fake. When did, is, is there a different limit of um, cutting people off at that time when people are just leaning on you for, um, just, just for money or just for whatever reason? Again, it goes back to that word choice. You have the choice of whether or not you want to, you know, I'm going to give them that money or not. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it, if, if it calls for cutting them off because that's all they are using you for is your money. You know what I'm saying? Then I guess, yeah, you should cut them off because they're not beneficial to you in any way. Or, you know what I'm saying? You don't have like a mutual relationship to each other. Like they're just trying to leech off of you. That's a parasite. And you don't need that around. So, you know, if somebody's just... You know, constantly, okay, well, I know you got some money now. I heard that check came in or whatever, you know what I'm saying? We eating. You know what I'm I saying? know it's Friday. Yeah, man, man. You know, it's income tax time, man. I'm just going to come I'm through. trying to go get that triple meter. What's up, dog? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You got you know to, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You got to know when to, when to, to, uh, to see, like, the, the, the people who just want to use you for what you got, your assets or whatnot. So... I guess in that point you would have to cut them off. It won't. It won't be cut. hard. It won't be hard to see for real. Once I mean, once success is, you gonna see who really with you, who really not. I mean, exactly. it's easy to see just people like more. Dudes, you know, just like the cop dudes, you know, that want to order two bottles of rosé for the table and put it on your tab. You know, just I mean, <laughs> dudes like that. Like, it's, that's not. It, it's, it's easy to see who with you. That's who crazy. Not, man. I mean, like it's a silly situation. I mean, yo, like I mean, like a famous saying goes, you know, money don't change you; it changes the people around you. So it's, I mean. You 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 gonna see who with you and who not like you know the people who was always there. I mean they might change up too. Nobody to you know just not subjected to you know change. No man, that's I not mean. everybody though. Like 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 I know some people you know they won't give you know some money. Like I know some of us here probably wouldn't. You know like Kendall said it's a choice. But back in the day, my mom said she ever won the lottery uh, for one of these um, absurd amounts of dollars. Crazy sir. My mom said that she would um she would give she would write out like you know have her like lawyer. Write out like a little like a little contract saying that okay I gave you this amount of money on this date and you know basically like don't come and ask me for any more. This is what I did and that's it. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, nah, I don't understand that. My why mom said that? she would have her lawyer draw up something. Why? 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 Because of the fact that she doesn't want everybody to keep, to keep on coming back. She still has her life. She still has me, you know, to pay for my college, and she still has to you know set up herself for retirement. Basically, she doesn't want everybody to keep. Coming in and acting like, okay, I need this, I need that, I need this, I need that. And it's still family members that have dogged my mom, like, to the dirt. Like, say, like, my mom's like my mom's father right now, like, my grandfather, don't answer that. My we grandfather. Know. We need that. Hold on. My grandfather is not my grandfather. So, so you know, that's my mom's stepfather. So, say, if her dad, like, her actual dad came back, oh, hey, how you doing? You know, um, yeah, like, uh, so I heard you hit the lotto. Hey, you know, you trying to, you know, you trying to go take care of me real fast, stuff like that. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now I see what you're saying, but she's not obligated to do she's that. She's not obligated, but I said that's just her choice. That's what, that's right. just it. What, she, what, what she would do. Okay, I see, I see, I see. What you're saying. Hey, whoever just called, call it back, please. Yo, I got, I got a sub off of this though. You could have told her. Hold on. Hey, she said she, was, she said she was gonna call it back. But no, I had a sub off of this. Um, people could. Could flip it, you know what I'm saying? Those people that you're turning down because they just want you for your that money that's coming in and whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? That leash that's on your back, they can flip it on. Hey man, you forgot where you came from, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not putting on, you're not helping nobody out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how you gonna do me like that? What do you say to those naysayers, those cynics out there? What are they doing for themselves? Just right. There you go. There the question is, what are they doing for themselves? That one? Why are you worried about me? What are you doing to better yourself? But that, that's the question. Here we go. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Okay, I just want to put my input on this topic as far as like family wise. So like me and my mom and my brother, we went through like a real rough time or whatever where we needed family, and it's like family wasn't even there. Mm -hmm. 
And then the moment my mom, she come in contact with some money, it was like, the, my mom was the first person everybody called, so it got to the point where we don't even associate with that side of our family no more. So I just feel like that's not even relationship-wise or friendship-wise. Like, that comes for family, too. Like, when you're doing good, family let it be up in your face. And when you're doing bad, family ain't yeah, never there, you know, to help motivate you, help support you through anything. So I just feel like that's, that goes for any relationship with anybody. Yeah, I definitely feel that. I mean, like, like I said, it's it's not subject to just nobody, man. It's everybody. Yeah, but I just wanted to say that. Thanks right, for calling in, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, man, it's definitely real. You know what I'm saying it's not just friends. You know what I'm saying it can definitely be relatives. You gotta watch your back out here for everybody, man. Not everybody is on your side. Definitely, man. I got I got relatives that act funny sometimes, man. They, I mean, it's real. Like I mean, you, man. sometimes I just gotta turn my head to it, man. Like it's like. All right, whatever. Hate to I, see it. Yeah, I, I do hate to see it, you man. Because at the end of the day, you will you will want to believe that family is gonna be have your back. Yeah, it's gonna have your best interest one hundred percent of the time. But it ain't always like that, man. Everybody got it. Everybody want their own. Everybody so else like I mean, hey, times, man. you do that, I mean, it's whatever. But it's a sad sight. I, I see. <laughs> Y'all silly, man. But all right, uh. But wait, hit wait, uh, yeah, hit expand, expand on that sub that you was talking about earlier. Yeah, um. Actually, yeah, that person saying, where did you, where were you, you forgot where you came from. You're not trying to put on, you're not trying to help anybody else out. You're just being selfish. You're being selfish. <laughs> what do you say to that, Kendall? Well, me, if somebody was to tell me I was being selfish, I would, uh, I would, you know, I'm just going to come at him on, on how Drake came at him, you know. He wasn't with me shooting in the gym. So, oh. you know what I'm saying? Oh. He wasn't there with me on my come up. Like I said, like when I went back and told you I wasn't going to leave my friends because they, they, they there for me right now while I'm coming up. Why, I'm, why would I, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Why am I going to look out for you if you wasn't looking out for me when I didn't have nothing? You, you know what I'm saying? So that's what, that's how I feel about that. I got you. And it's a, it's, you hate to see this, man. Yeah, I, I hate to say this, but at some point it could be a jealousy type thing. They don't want to see you make it to that next level. So they want to they wanna hold you back. They see themselves... Not not doing too hot, and they were like, hey, man, my homie, hey, I don't want to see him doing that hot, so I'm gonna keep him down. I'm gonna I'm gonna call him over when I when I'm up to no good on purpose. You know what I'm saying? So it could definitely be that in the way, and that mindset is no good. I remember Jay Z quote, man. People um, always talking about the hood until they they forgot that the point was to get out of the hood. That's why they that's why they making this. That's why they making these changes in their lives. And when when you make these changes, people come at you crazy, forgetting what the goal was. Mm. That's a nice point, but I want Avery to tell Is me. Is it Avery that's over there playing around on Instagram and not chiming in on this topic? Yeah, yeah. I want so I want him to, to tell me. Is everybody's gonna act like I didn't just comment on the subject before Jazz called? We're talking about the subtopic. It's the sub. What? What's the subtopic, Avery? What do you mean? What's the subtopic? You're unaware. Can <laughs> you, you touch base on what the subtopic is so Avery can answer the question? It's You're like, selfish, Avery. Yeah, he's that's selfish. selfish. That's what it is. People about, like you who are selfish. You talking about when they, talking about when they call you selfish? No, we talking about when, when you're selfish. You know, on Instagram. I'm selfish. How yeah. am I being selfish? You're selfish because you're on Instagram while we're doing our show. Do you get my phone bill? No. <laughs> I have nobody's phone. Your phone bill. Can I, I not? Can I not? Can I not be on Instagram to go worry about the show? No. Can I not? Can I not be on Twitter to worry well, about the show? If you're not promoting, can I not? No. Can I not text my mom? Not from eight to ten on Monday and Wednesday. Can I not? Can I not text my mom? You on Instagram? I didn't see any messages from your mom. I'm looking right at your screen. Can I not text my mom? Hey, mommy, we don't need. Can I not? Can I not text my mom? Is she not just text me again? Confirm that she's not. Is she not text me again? Is is my mom not coming? She's talking about Brandy's good point. She said, when your family win money, you get new family, new friends you never had. I don't owe them anything. Yup, that's just what she's saying. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying to her. So it sounds my like mom's mom coming on the show. She was, yeah, she was saying on a good point that I was that I was saying that she didn't owe them anything. Why you stutter? Can you get your words together? No, you couldn't read. You sounded like Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 Everybody needs to relax. We're going to let Juice hit the you know subject now. You know what? Maybe Randy was right. Maybe you are straddling the fence. <laughs> wow. Now I'm straddling the fence because you sound like Floyd when you read text messages. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're straddling the fence because you don't know what you're talking about. You sound like Bill no, Tyson. No, because... Wow. <laughs> 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 
was saying we just gonna have to I saw it. 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 Oh, don't make me have to put a rap from Thousand Suns upon your head on this show. I just don't, don't want to have do it. to do it. I don't want to have to do it. No, you can't do it. <laughs> Man, do you it. can't do it. Let, let <laughs> Juicy hit the topic. Let hey, Juicy hit the topic. Who the fuck got a friend? Can I not hit the ground? Can I not? Can I not? Is my phone not down? Hey, hey. get back on Instagram and let Juicy hit the topic. It's cool, bro. I got it. I got it, man. But hey, man, on that note, man, I feel like it's, um, when I feel like you can't never forget where you came from, ever. I mean, you should always have an obligation to 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 never forget. To, I mean, like starting out from humble beginnings, you should never just forget once you made it to once you made it to wherever you want to be. You know what I'm saying? Like you always got to have an obligation to remember that. I mean, that's just a part of being humble. That's a part of being real. But at the same time, it's like 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 Kendall was saying, man, you can't you can't hop on my team. If you you weren't with me when when I was struggling, man, back when I was trying to come up, back when I was trying to make it, you can't just hop on my team. No, you feel me like that? that? That's not how I go. You can't you can't play both sides like that, man. Don't 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 come to me now. It's like it's like Mike Jones said back then. He didn't want me. <laughs> <laughs> no, never did you just say that. Oh, back. Yeah. 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 Let's quote that. Wow. Yeah. Oh. yeah. We see we all coming back to song lyrics because the music lives within us. It's <laughs> going, back to, going, back to, going back to the first time in my music at eight o'clock. It's not thirty. Like I said, you know what I'm saying. The music is there, man. We live through it. You know what I'm saying. We feel it. Now we bring back the quotes because you know sometimes it relates to how we feel. Is it almost as if the lyrics are beating through our veins? It, it relates is. to it relates to real life. That Jigaboo music is oh my, my baby. Oh my gosh. So I want to thank Christy. Oh, don't do you it. You know what I'm saying. I want to thank Christy for. it. For, for you know, for telling the world about how she felt about this music and, and how it beats through our veins and, and everything about and not it. Not only did she just say how she felt about the music, she, she said how she felt about the whole culture. <laughs> As a whole, man, I can't just let you get away with that. I'm gonna need a formal apology. <laughs> I'm sorry for for using the word jiggable on the uh, air. I'm gonna say the apology in front of everyone. Unlike Christy did, she tweeted it. You know, I'm gonna tweet it as well. I'm gonna be Christy Jr. You can just call me KJ from now on. KJ? <laughs> KJ, wow, and then I guess I'll be Wayne Dawson, smile at you. Wow, man. Oh my goodness. God, it's silly, man. But they still, but but people Let's still can't sit up here and ask you something and then call you fake. That's very, very redundant. Especially if they're not, like I said earlier, they're not helping themselves. That's not how you know. You can't do that. Like you can't. You really can't say that. You can only do so much. You know what I'm saying? You I'm can try to lead them in the right direction, but you can't make them go there. You know what I'm saying? You can try to lead them. I understand that, but you. But still, that's even more salty if you're not doing a damn thing for yourself in life, and you really get mad at me because I'm not giving you what I worked hard for. You weren't with me running on the field. You weren't with me shooting in the gym. You weren't with me. Throwing baseballs, you weren't doing whatever. You weren't with me when studying. I was writing. I wasn't taking these You weren't with me when, it, when you were studying. When I was studying, you weren't with me in the library. You weren't with me walking in this negative seventeen degrees snow. We still got class. You weren't doing any of that. But you get mad at me because I'm a doctor and I want to go do what I need to do, or I'm anything else. Or I'm a sports broadcaster. You mad because I won't throw you on the show as a guest? You mad because I won't shut you up on Twitter? That's corny, man. You mad because you can't hop on birds and the bees because you used to play around with us? But hey, it's cool. Wow. Oh <laughs> man, that man's taking shots. Yeah, because we've been playing around with a couple of times on our guest oh, see, host. See, yeah, man. See, but now everybody's all hitting us with the with the whole Kendall. Can we not come onto the show? We can we not express our opinion? Man. Can we, we not? Now the show's getting all big. Now it's oh, can we not come onto the show? Yeah. We can you not shout us out? We don't want to have to just. No, I ain't married from the beginning, man. Don't even get me started with that, man. Speaking of that person, she said, uh, "I hate when people do the guilt trip thing." <laughs> I'm saying, call in with that. Call in with that. Wow, was that was that a direct shot, Randy? Wow, shot. Randy. Oh, Randy. Some type of way. Oh my God. Oh, Randy. Randy. First of all, some type of way. You should just explain it right now while you're on the air. Come on, you go to Randy right now for a minute. Let's go. We got a minute, Randy. Fire. Let's go. Let's get it. Like they said, man, you want to get with us when we when we make it the big time. No, no, no. It's not like we said go on a rant. No, no, no. You just said, Randy. You think we had no names? We had. We didn't say. Anything about a you certain said, person? Yeah, you I, said I something about a certain name. person. We didn't feel. I, I, don't, I didn't feel a, that way. I said something about a specific person. Don't tweet from afar. You know what I'm saying? If you got a topic, you come in here and talk about it when we offered it to you the first time. Once we hear play around and hide behind Twitter, you know what I'm saying accounts. We don't want to see it through Twitter. We don't want 140 characters. We want to see it live in person. But what are they at right now, Randy? They're probably at the game. Shout out to the women's basketball, but we're more important. Wow. 
He's just taking Woo! shit. Woo! I, I think Heidelberg's losing right now, so that... that and y'all can follow Randy at Randy is Ice um, <laughs> L, <laughs> on Twitter. And if, he, and if he's ready that cut, he'll mention it right now. But I know he won't, so I'll do it for him. He's not Charlemagne. He's just not Charlemagne. Charlemagne. He gonna mention that person? No, he he's won't mention her. Y'all ain't talking to me, man. You won't do it right now. <laughs> right There's now. one Charlemagne in this booth, and it's me. I'm the only one who will do it. It's just not you, Randy. <laughs> Yeah, you play around with your tweets like how Avery does on Instagram. So <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to play some music for y'all, you know what I'm saying? We've been talking for a little minute. Got a couple calls. these social networks. You know what I'm saying? Got some nice more Jay-Z coming on for y'all. So, uh, Shut up. <laughs> we'll be right back, y'all. Wow. That's just pretty soft about that. Hey, go. All right, well, uh, it's been a soft debate on Twitter as far as debate, uh, man. what's going to oh, go wow. happen with Randy, I guess. I guess Janessa, the, the person that he was referring to last time. Is, Randy's out of here. Yeah, he, he, he was sub, sub talking about, you know what I'm saying? She was. She said she's wanted to take his spot. And we're willing to give it to her to get that out of her shit, you know what I'm saying? We're willing to give her a spot because she she said she has more balls than Randy will ever have. Wow, man. Those were her words. She said she has more balls than he'll ever have. Because she didn't, he didn't want to mention her. He didn't want to shout her out. He didn't want to do it. She said Randy was the badge man. Obviously joking. Wow, man. The badge man, Randy. The badge man. Oh, wow. my God, man. I, I'm sorry that she did it. I, I, I wasn't expecting it. You know what I'm saying? Man, I just don't want to have to toss you out of this room for Robin's sake. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, my God. Uh, the best part was she said that Randy can still be in the room, but he's going to be a guest for the show on Wednesday. Just, you know what? Like Janessa, if you're listening, call in it. Call in the serve him. The seat is yours if you serve him. The seat is yours. He can, he, he, he can bail you all he wants. But it's still your seat if you call in, you serve this man right now. Right now. Right next to Juice Man. Your yeah. seat. Oh, some silly people, man. Yo, Mike, do what you want. You're going to take Randy's clipboard, write down the topics. You can do whatever oh. you want, man. <laughs> yeah. Take Randy's seat. Wow. You done told him to take the clipboard. Randy, D, you directing something, don't you? Oh, man. Y'all silly, man. Oh, <laughs> y'all love Randy. Because what is, though, man? Because Randy just let her. This man had the bounce. What, what Randy you, just let her just come in, yeah. come so crazy, like he yeah. didn't say anything. Look, man, forget what that side of the room is talking about. Call in and expand on these topics that we brought up. This last one, we, we haven't really had a lot of participation for it. Um, oh god! Oh no! Oh, oh god! Birds and the bees, what's happening? You already know who it is. Ah! 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 What's, what's up, Janessa? This? Please Randy soon. Why? What'd you say? <laughs> I said it's the person who's gonna be replacing Randy. Wow. Oh, we know. Is that right? Oh, we know. <laughs> so, Janessa, Janessa, man, hold on, hold on. We had you call in because we want you to serve Randy. Tell him exactly how you feel. I need you guys to express it to each other. I'm just gonna say how he should have just, you know, been a man about it and what? said my actual name, not just beat around the bush. Hey man, you know, wow. you know, like selling. I know you were listening from afar. You, you saw talking to her. You know, I would have heard enough. I want to. And, 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 and I want to hear though that the girl came and was listening. We appreciate wow. the love, but you played around. You should have just called in and went outside in the hallway and let us know your opinion on the topic. About the game, the game was just too crazy. We actually like went on the court after they won. Well, well, turn up there. Turn up there. <laughs> Go bird. Uh, what, what we want to know is. Was why why did you have to serve Randy like the way you did on on my bear like this? <laughs> what you want me to repeat the tweet? Would that make everyone happy? No man. No you man, you ain't got to. Hey Janessa, the seat's yours, man. I'm, I, I, I mean, I'm impressed. You're talking to me, you're just not. Randy, I don't know what he's signing. I was he asking for music. <laughs> 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 was he looking for no music? music? I don't I'm know what. Anywhere, what that man was looking Asia, for. Man. So why did you lean back and not finish anything? He leaned back like he was looking to us to save him by playing this banger. I don't, I don't know. know. We don't want to play a banger, man. We I just... don't know what he was looking for. I just when know he, he lost. Today he loses. No. Today is not your best day, Randy. Because Janessa came over here and she took your chair. And now he wants us to play music, man. Nobody wants us to play music, man. We got five minutes left. I, I think we should play five music. Minutes. I think we should play some music, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two.